wind is dead behind us, so the fore sail's not really working much. And I'm trying to stop the mainsail flipping over. Uh, meanwhile, get us into that. I have been up all night. It's a beautiful morning. I spent the night weaving through loads of islands out there in the dark. And over here at last we have the Percy Islands, my next port of call on the Great Barrier Reef of Australia. Been a long night, but at least now we've got the warmth of the sunlight to look forward to. Shaddy keeps wanting to go and look at that piece of rock over there. can't get over those sandy uh, cliffs over there, it's brilliant. Anyway, working my way into this entrance between the islands and this headland. Very shallow up that end, gonna have to come up here somewhere. Chasing me in. Right, here we go. This is a beautiful place, bit of a panic on because the sun's going down. I've had a little sleep because I didn't sleep much last night. Uh, and I want to get ashore for a brewski. Uh, I've got my beers here all ready to go. I've got the safety stuff, um, a light a radio. Cruisers go to shore to drink beer at sundown. It's, it's a tradition. sound makes the oddest sound here. Homestead. Percy Island. These are steps going up. Sort of baseball caps. <laughs> I want to live here. Short ride. Ooh. They sell stuff. So this is the cruising life that I love. Like-minded people from all over the world, sailing all over the world. Enjoying the simple things in life, a barbecue, a beer, and friends to share it with. 
what's not to like. On a mission today in the anchorage at the Percy Islands, uh, my friend uh, Don is here and he's got my girlfriend with him, so we're gonna go see him. It's a beautiful day and we're gonna do a bit of exploring. That's where we're heading. Uncle Don has told me there's some spectacular stuff to be seen. Good. Yeah, there's a lagoon in here, but I think we're running out of water. We picked the wrong time tide to do it. Wanted to check out that lagoon, but even for the dinghy, uh, there wasn't enough water in, so we decided to come back later at high tide. So we headed for the beach. She's keen to jump and we're still on the way. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on, Keisha. We're going to go round again. We'll get the money shot. Hang on. Go on. Go on. Go on, go on, go on. Go on. Bastard heavy boat. I'm not pulling out. Yeah, I'm I'm on a swing giving my leg a rest, you can see it's all swollen up again. Yeah. So, we just spotted that up there, that's what I need. Yeah, someone's legless last night. Found another shed down the way. Wow, book exchange. There's so many signs in here from uh, boats, people leave their, their, like a calling card kind of thing. And there's one down here, this is from 1968. Just catching up, uh, Don showed me that, 1950 that one, HMS Austra HMAS Australia. This one here is a sign done in 1961. 61, yeah, please if you're there. That's what you want. Although Captain Cook had been somewhere near the area, it was a guy called Captain Matthew Flinders who actually explored these islands back in the day. These oysters up here remind me of my friend Magnus. He'll eat anything yeah. off a rock. Just rip that off with your finger now. Oh, that's salty snot. You'd die of hunger if you had to live on these. <laughs> it's getting hot. Me and the dog cooling off. It's not your best side. No, don't drink that. Don't, don't drink that. No, don't eat my microphone either. The next day I was up for a little solo exploring, so took Squeaky out and uh, decided to have a look around. Nice little cove, but no place to take the dinghy in. It's a bit shallow, there's a few bombies, but it's just rocks all over the beach. That's a shame. That's pretty. Lots of islands with miles of coastlines, all like this, with nothing there. This is beauty, raw beauty. Oh, it doesn't look like I can get right in. There's still a big deep piece of water here. I have a bath. <laughs> Climbing up over this in bare feet, 
I can't go around that side because it's got a broken oyster shell. Super sharp. One of the things you've got to be careful of and think about is this crocodile country. If there's a crocodile in there, he's going to have me. <laughs> you, you have to think about this sort of stuff here. We are in Australia after all. That and something just flopped out of the water, went back in again. It was only small, but it shit me up. <laughs> you know, I got COVID, a broken ankle, now I got lymphedema in the other leg, and then I get eaten by a crocodile. It'll all look good in the book if I ever write that. We will live long enough. Oh, this is beautiful. I needed this exercise. If I'm going to walk in the water, that's better exercise. So this was the view looking out of the bay with the tide out. And this is the same bay looking into it with the tide in. Don and I returned with the boat to have another look. Because there was something around the corner he wanted to show me. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. I'd never seen anything quite like that before. A boat next to its own little homestead, and they kind of got it all propped up at low tide. So how's that for a place to live? Cool. Dodged this snorkeler on the way out, and then had to contend with this. The current was quite fierce, and we had to keep off the rocks. But yeah, no worries. And then it was back to the homestead. I'm just going to let the ambience of the place roll over you now. See if you can get a feel for it. It was just so, so relaxed here. Uh, one of the guys up there pulling coconuts down to feed the people. Then the sunset, a few beers with some friends, and it was the end of the day. And it was the end of our visit here on Percy Island. A wonderful and magical place, I think you'll agree. A bit wet, cool and damp. But today is moving day. Not quite sure of the weather yet. Uh, there's no internet here, but I'm told by others that it should be fairly good today if just a little wind. But we've got about 21 miles to do, so let's see what happens. At last, the rain has stopped, some awesomeness has returned, and we have a rainbow to start the day. Don's just been over. I was gonna say all the, all the husbands are at sea fishing in the dinghy, so maybe I should stay here with the wives for a bit longer. <laughs> Had to cover up, it's getting hot out here. Um, I've got some friends over there fishing. They're way over there and I'm going to join uh, Don up here and the sea is alive with fish right in front of me. They're over there <laughs> and the fish are over here. Don's over there, maybe he's just flushed his toilet, that might do it. <laughs> The idea, I think, is we're just, we've got away from the island where there's going to be more wind out into the channel, and we're just going to float out here and wait for the wind. So I'm going to stop the engine in a minute. I'm going to play around with my screecher, the big green mini, uh, just chat to Don. Uh, I think he's got a problem with his radio. Uh, and then uh, we'll see what happens next. We're just going to wait for wind. So is your radio not working? I can't get you on 78. Okay. I'm probably gonna regret this. This could all go terribly wrong. The time for truth is here. Well, it pretty much ended up being the craziness that I thought it would. It's a hugely powerful sail. And it's, it's like uh, riding a motorbike or something like that. It's 
dangerous violence, but it's in control. When it's in control, it's good. If it gets out of control, things can go bad really quickly. That'll do for the moment. Um, we're doing uh, two and a half knots with virtually no wind. All right, I've let a bit more out. <laughs> he, <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. And there's a little white line, you can see him there. That's the pull down one. That pulls the sock down and uh, brings it in. If that thing goes up the mast, I'm in a big lot of trouble. Under engine with the sail down, giving that headland quite a bit of spare space as I go around. Uh, so I'm heading for up there on the right and then make a left into the lagoon. It's kind of a lagoon that's formed with several islands all around it and it's out of the weather. Not that there is much weather right now, but tomorrow uh, I think we're back to normal. Uh, some nice blowiness to take us further north. Uh, our mission is not here. We're heading for a place called the Whit Sundays, which is um, where all the parties are at and that's where we're headed to. But it's still a ways to go yet. Um, and I can't do it all in one go. And as you've already seen, there's islands all over the place. Uh, you can't just um, set up on a straight course and go to sleep and expect to arrive soon. So yeah, we can't make the next leg today. So we're going to stop here and start again tomorrow early. Oh, wow. Wow. This is a cool looking anchorage. Here on this side, you can see the difference when the sun's in your face. Just a quick inspection of the deck. I packed away the cruising chute, uh, secured it by a piece of line just in case it gets really windy tonight, which I'm hoping it doesn't, but it is coming through that crack over there. Got the mainsail all semi-secured. I don't like putting it completely away when I'm in a place like this in case I need it in the middle of the night to sail out. Toby's had the day off because of all the sunshine. I've been running the engine, but now it's his turn to create the electricity for tonight. Yeah, it's almost like the broken top of an old volcano. I don't actually think that it is that. Um, a bit of an island over here. Then this one is actually protecting us from the weather. On this side, it's beautiful. Watching the sunset, having a beer. Another day done. I'd love you to check out my new music channel, Barry Sea Dog Perrins. And on there, you will find my current single, Halfway. You can listen to it there or even buy a copy for yourself to keep. That would help me out. Many, many thanks to my patrons who also help out and have supported this channel for so long. Thank you so much. For real-time updates, I'm on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter X. And I'll see you next time on Adventures of an Old Sea Dog. Music